What's up YouTube? Brian Van Dyne here. Today I'm showing you how to drive an 18 speed. We are at a stoplight. We're going to push the clutch all the way down to engage the clutch brake. Put it in low, low. Shifting into first gear from low, low. Second. Then we're going to be shifting into third. Fourth. Fifth. Okay, now we're gonna go up to sixth gear. Okay, so this is an 18 speed. So what that means is, is there's a total of eight forward gears and each gear you can have in high range or low range, right? Which makes 16 gears. And then you add the low and high range in reverse, that makes 18. So this is what we would typically call an 18 speed, okay? We're going to be coming up a steep incline here, and I just want to show you guys how I assess the hill. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the hill as fast as I can because I get paid by the load, not by the hour. If you get paid by the hour, you can do something a little bit safer. Choose a lower gear to start out with, and uh, you can approach the hill going that way, right? If you have less experience, always approach the hill in a lower gear. You're less likely to miss a gear and, you know, break something or have to start out at in zero. Okay, so we are we are in low, rain, low gear, the low end of each gear right now. I haven't split into high gear. We are hitting this incline in seven low. Okay, we're going to be going into six high right now okay not enough shift again now we are in six low we're going to be shifting again watch my gas pedal right here okay still still losing still losing so let's just keep shifting until we find a gear that we can hold power okay one of the things you want to keep in mind when you're going up these steep hills, you have lots of variables. Okay, one of the variables is how heavy of a load you're hauling. Second variable, traffic. Third variable, uh, engine horsepower. Your engine fan, right? My fan's gonna kick on any second now. Boom, just kicked on. So as you gain experience driving truck, you're gonna know these variables when you're driving a dump truck, okay? I'm trying to show you guys as exaggerated of movements as I can because it's hard to see exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, so you may have noticed this is my clutch foot. I did not move my clutch foot at all. Every single gear I just did, I floated every single gear. And what that means is I matched the RPMs from the transmission to the, to the motor, okay? One thing that will make it easier for you to shift on a hill is by turning your engine brake off, not allowing your engine brake to engage. Right? The more experience you gain with driving a truck, then you can have your engine brake on. But if you are inexperienced, I would recommend when you're climbing a hill loaded, just turn your engine brake off because you are gonna you might let off too much of the gas pedal and then your engine brake engages and then guess what? The engine speed slowed down too much for you to engage the transmission and that's how you miss a shift. Right, so there are certain uh, things that will help you shift in a loaded truck. That you know, as you gain more experience, you can do without. You know, you can make adjustments based on your experience. Okay, so what I typically like to do is. I, I typically like to hit the hill as hard as I can, as fast as I can, in about the 17 to 18 
1,800 RPM range, 1,700 to 1,800 RPMs. If you are below 1,700 RPMs, you will be shifting right out the gate, depending on the horsepower of the motor you're driving. Um, a lot of cat motors, the older cat motors, the 3406Bs, you know, the C15s, they have a lot of a lower end uh, torque range. They have more horsepower in the lower RPMs than, let's say, this particular Packard MX-13. Uh, the, the horsepower is in, a little bit in the higher RPMs. So when I'm climbing a hill, I will, I generally try and stay above 1500 RPMs up to 2000 RPMs. That's typically the range of RPMs that I'm trying to stay within when I am driving my loaded dump truck up a hill, right? And the reasoning behind that is this truck really starts to lug or lose power and kind of dog out once you get below 1500 RPMs if you're climbing a hill on flat ground or or a downgrade you know when the grade is downwards you can you can drop those rpm ranges um but typically speaking if you're loaded and you're climbing a hill i personally try and stay between the 1500 to 2000 range the reasoning behind that is it puts a lot less stress on the motor and it allows your transmission to work a little bit more, right? That's why you have different gears, right? So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section of this video. And I'll try to get to them as best as I can. All you other super truckers out there, make sure you help your, feather, your fellow truckers out and help them uh, answer their questions. If you've been driving for you know five plus years, you can help answer the questions. If you haven't been driving for five years, then you probably don't know what you're talking about. You're probably still learning. I hate to say it, but you know, even to this day, I am still learning techniques of how to drive uh, a dump truck. You know, at, even when I was five years in. I learned that, uh, you know, on these manual transmissions, the clutch has a clutch brake. A lot of guys don't understand this. And what that means is these transmissions do not have synchros in them. They're not synchronized transmissions like a typical car manual would be. And what that means is when you push that clutch, the transmission speed, gear speed, is different than the motor speed, right? And a synchronizer will match those RPMs and match the gears, right? These dump trucks do not have synchros. So what that means is you have to match your engine RPMs to the transmission RPMs to get the gear to go in. And the best way and the most experience you have makes it easier to match those, those transmission and engine speeds together to float gears more easily right and you gain this experience by listening to the motor listening to the truck feeling the truck feeling you know it, it's all about how you know listening and and uh assessing the environment you're in right so anyways guys uh don't forget to pound that like button pound that subscribe button as always Another quick little tip that I was that I learned later on in my driving career is when you shift from low range, that's the splitter right here in the front, not the side splitter, not the high and low of the gear, but the high and right, low range. That means when you go from uh, first gear, second, third, fourth, and then you flip it and go into fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. When you flip that uh, range selector, you do not want to flip it two miles before you need to shift. You need to flip it relatively fast because what that does is 
the gears are made, you know, when they, when you go from high range to low range, if you leave that selector flipped for a longer period of time, it wears the transmission out, right? And I've heard that from several mechanics. I, that's something I didn't know. Uh, when I first started driving, I would flip it, you know, I, I'd be going down the road, getting ready to come up to a stop sign, you know, like two blocks ahead, pull it out of gear and flip it up, you know, flip it down, you know, and that's really not good for the transmission. What you want to do is, you know, if you're going to coast up to a stop sign or whatever, take it out of gear in high range, slow the vehicle down, you know, all the way. And then when you come to your stop, then you flip it. Or when you get to the perf when you get to the specific RPM range slash speed range for the low range of your particular transmission. And like, for example, for this particular uh, situation with the Packard MX-13, 18 speed, running, you know, 81,000 pounds, 82,000 pounds, somewhere in that range, you know, if I got a fat load on, it could be as high as 96,000 pounds or as low as 76,000 pounds, you know, it just depends on who loads it, what the material is and all that jazz. You typically, when I go from high range to low range, it's around the 10 mile an hour mark. Your transmission will definitely be different. Every truck is different, right? And uh, every gear, uh, you know, in the different transmissions are different. So if you're driving a 13 speed, it's gonna be different. If you have a higher horsepower motor, it's gonna be different. So just keep that in mind as you're learning to shift don't forget to hit, hit that pound, pound that like button. Share this video with the new truck drivers that you meet because there's not a lot of videos out there teaching guys, uh, you know, how to learn these techniques. And, you know, it, it, you never know till you know. And the best way to find out is somebody tells you these techniques.